What's going on, Washington Commander fans? It's your boy back with another video. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content is definitely on the way. Very productive day in Washington yesterday. The top brass was, well, the last two days, the top brass is, was just making moves. When I look at a guy like Adam Peters, he's everything is advertised. Just, that's all I can say about Adam Peters. Everything as advertised. Two days of free agency. Two, just two days, 48 hours. He did more in 48 hours than the last regime did in three years as far as free agency goes. Starting it out with Zach Ertz. First, when we signed Zach, I was like, what are we doing, Adam? But then I said, you know what? We already got two young tight ends who I really want to play football, who I think could really help this football team. So why not get a veteran down here? And then he went and got Dorrance Armstrong, a guy that was a rotational piece and had as much production as our starters last year. So I think that's a really good move. I think his sacks might double. I, I really do. And then we doubled back in the in the in the Dallas pool and got Tyler Biedes, who I think is a really good center, solid center, getting the line of scrimmage right. That's what we need to do. We need to get the line of scrimmage right. A nasty player, really good pass blocker, smart, and your young quarterback's gonna need a veteran center. So I think this is the guy that's going to serve that role. And then the next move we made after that was probably one of my favorite moves. I don't want to say my favorite move, but we got Frankie Lufu, man. And this was a guy that I I wanted, but I didn't think we would get him. Normally, if I put something out I want in the universe, it doesn't come back to me as far as football goes. So I was just chilling, but I forgot. This isn't Ron Rivera and, 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 and company. This is Adam Peters. So guess what Adam did? He linked up and, and signed and got the deal done with Frankie Lupu. And the question you have to ask yourself is, what can't Frankie do? Not what can Frankie do? Because Frankie, I mean, you want Frankie to stop the run, he stops the run. You want him to blitz the quarterback, he blitzes the quarterback. You want him to cover, he covers. You want him to call the defense and get people lined up he does that too Frankie is the most underrated player I think that's coming out of free agency and this is another guy like Dorrance Armstrong that's gonna set this new identity of this football team because if it's one thing Joe Witt and Dan Quinn said is they're trying to get an identity if you want to get an identity this is an identity guy this is a guy that fits the criteria and then next man Austin Eckler at first when we signed Austin, I wanted Austin a couple of years ago, but now that we got Austin, I'm happy because what better third down back to help a young quarterback than Austin? You could throw him the football, he can run the football, he can he gets open, he understands, he can pass block. I mean, he's just a solid Brian Mitchell kind of guy. So I wouldn't mind having a, a Brian Mitchell 2.0 on the football team, and I think that's what he's going to bring. And then we went right back to the line of scrimmage and got a left guard from the Kansas City Chiefs, Nick Arizetti. I hope I said his name right. I mean, a Super Bowl player. He was playing in the Super Bowl last year. He knows what it takes to win. And, and you got to get some guys with some winning attitudes around here. And he's, he's a guy with a winning attitude. He knows how to play. And then when you look at it, that's like one, two, three, four. That's five starters, really. So you can tell this team is really turning over. They're turning over the team. They're putting their own mark on it early and often. Can't be mad. And then we got a kicker. I ain't gonna lie. I like Joey Sly. I like him, a strong leg. I like him in long situations, but I can um I can use a guy that's more accurate with extra points. Joey was just missing too many. So we got Brian McManus. A guy that I think is going to be pretty good for us. As long as he did what he did last year, he ain't going to have no complaints out of me. And then we got a veteran quarterback, Marcus Mariota. Now, this is the guy that Marcus 
really good athlete, good football player, be a good guy to hold a clipboard, a good guy to back up a few weeks if need be, and and if the style of football that I think we're gonna play, we're probably gonna draft a quarterback with that style. I don't want to say that we're gonna get the guy that I want. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that, but I hope we get Jaden Daniels and we get Jaden Daniels. What a better backup for Jaden Daniels than Marcus Mariota. And then um, we went right back to the line of scrimmage again and got Colin Farrell. And this is a guy that, oh man, he was he was a high draft pick, a born leader. He's just a leader, man. He's just a, the kind of guy that you want in the locker room. This is going to be another guy with Jonathan Allen that's a leader. And then Jonathan Allen also got Lufu. So he's not going to be the only leader out there now. You're going to have other guys that's committed to winning. Front office is committed to winning. Coaching staff is committed to winning. And us as fans, that's what we want is a winner. I can't be mad at all about that. I'm really, really excited about what we brought to the table, man. I can't, I can't be more happy, man. I can't get this smile off my face. And hopefully, everybody takes the coach and we get the quarterback that we want. And hopefully, all of this takes place. And then, man, if this guy, if, if they didn't put the icing on the cake, the icing on the cake was this. This might be my favorite. Between Lupu and this guy right here might be my favorite favorite addition and that's one Jeremy Chin from the Carolina Panthers when I thought it couldn't get any better it got better we all know what Chin does we all know what he did his rookie year and we all know he wasn't used right and then they topped it off by getting Dante Fowler man who I think is gonna be another guy if Farrell can't what Farrell can't do he can do and then we got the long snapper Tucker, who I think, hey, he knows our special teams coach, so that's going to be a good a good thing for us. But let me know what you guys think of all these free agents so far and what we're doing. And we filled a lot of holes, man. We filled a lot of holes, so draft day is going to be so much easier. But hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that bell. More content's definitely on the way. Let's take them in.